with that being said, we got good trade, bad trade. Shake, you have a. Uh, uh, you want to start? Uh, yeah, I mean, I was away last week, so I did not do much. Um, I had the this XEL through 62, which, you know, it's a utility name. Again, people are get fearful of the market. Utilities tend to do well. So I bought the 62 break even stop. And, you know, again, it's a boring name, but four times a charm. That was a decent one. Um, bad trade was probably this KSU. I was buying uh, kind of back on you know up through 118 up through 120 and then i got stopped out a majority of it on friday through 120 and i still have some but it's just you can see like i got stuff at 120 you know barely went a dollar really below my price so that was again i really wasn't too hands-on but that was probably i guess the worst trade that i had since i kind of you know I, I was up what was it four or five bucks in it and just kind of gave it all back um, but again that's being way on vacation but, you know that's why i hate trading on vacation <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. Shit like this happens, but uh, those are just my two for the for last week. Yes. Um, uh, so my good trade, I did some like some super sick shit, sick day trade shit in pins last week. Uh, so I, I got a feeler on eight nineteen, no eight twenty, uh, and I bought through that like 33, 75, 34 area, and I, I just a feel just keep an eye on the, uh, keep an eye on the stock. It's been, it's been my favorite chart out forever. Their earnings are crazy. The chart pattern's crazy. This is just like the most A plus thing going on to me right now. But um, so, but off the open, uh, what was that? Let's see, what was that Wednesday? I fucking bought five thousand off that thirty five, and I sold like I sold three thousand of it into the pot with thirty six fifty. I called it out. I was like, if you guys don't plan on um, taking any more stock home, you know, definitely kick this thirty six fifty because like I saw the sellers there. Uh, they weren't letting it push any higher. You know, with the information I had. And then, and then I got out of a lot of stock and, you know, I had to sell for the next couple of days. But what I was really happy with myself is that I took off so much stock. It, it was a small move and I was like, ah, it just doesn't look super sustainable to have all the size. I had a bullshit stop. You know, markets give me a lot of worries. Like, just take profit and, you know, just be comfortable, you know, be, go back to being comfortable. Uh, tight, it was a little uncomfortable size, and uh, 6,000 shares. Um, <laughs> and then uh, bad trades is GH. I've been fucking with this GH for so long, it's been giving me a fucking nightmare. Uh, so I, I started building a position. I, it gave, threw me for a loop last week, and I started building it, or two weeks ago, and I started building another position when it held up, held that support on 820, similar day. And then the opposite of what I didn't do it in this, where it's like I would have had, I had a cheap stop on that pins because I was like, where the market or whatever. And this one, for some reason, I was like, you know, I'm going to give all my size back to true support, where normally I'll take some off and you know, a, a previous low of day breaks or there's some bad action or something. So this one, it's like I held my full position back, like five or six bucks. So I, I, took, a, I took a little lump in that one. Um, and what I wish I'd done is I wish I'd treated like pins where I was uh, a little bit less greedy and less, you know, I guess less overall bullish on the name right in this market environment. And that's, so just going to, you know, keep it light and nimble going forward for the next few weeks till we see something clear up. Um, but yeah, that was a good event. Nice.